pivoting back over to that small press, we're talking about a little Dark Horse book with Kill Whitey Donovan number one. This is like a fantastic story. Remember, Dark Horse has that first look deal with Netflix, so you never know what might happen with this book. But you have the regular cover, but then there's a variant for it as well. Yeah, and I haven't heard Brian get this excited from a Reader Buzz perspective about an independent comic in a while, but he was excited to talk about this one. So I'm going to give you the lowdown on this. This one we're talking about in order to kill a monster, they'll have to risk becoming one. After Anna Hoyt's sister commits suicide, she sets off for Atlanta to kill the man responsible for destroying her family, her fiancé, Jim Whitey Donovan. But Anna, a spirited, tough, pampered daughter of a prominent doctor, can't do it alone. To get through the hell that lies between Atlanta and Alabama, she makes a deal with one of the Donovan slaves, Hattie Vigil, who has an agenda of her own. In exchange for the chance at freedom, Hattie, a survivor, will lead this unlikely quest. I gotta tell you, to me, Brian, this seems almost like a female, like, Django Unchained, right? Exactly. Where we're seeing, we're seeing, like, you know, they've each got their own kind of agenda. It's gonna be violent. It's gonna be graphic. But they're on a mission. And I kind of dig this. And also, it's not like a, a female book told through, like, a man's perspective. It's being t written by a woman, Sydney D Duncan, who's actually a novelist. Yeah, I look forward to it. I like those period piece books, and I like the strong female lead with, like, looks like a revenge type story. So I'm hooked. The solicit already hooked me. That's why we have it in this video. And I think there's a lot of readers out there that this kind of will appeal to, but that's just me. Let us know in the comments. Is this a book that you guys are going to pick up?